Inside 45 here for the Black Swan. Up goes Stedman, got it down, but straight away! A goal there by Perth and Hammersley. You're eight minutes in and you've ripped out the Ripleys. <laughs> the kick's not a good one, it's a shocker. Charlie McIsaac, 13 goals on the season for the Old Zavarian. Some time at Footscray. In the big V, he has the first. Thrown into the ground, Cutler's there to lend support. Up and down the chimney goes the kick to the top of the goal square. Big pack of players doing the roving, doing the snapping, oh. doing the goaling. It's Christian Carnival. They've contest down here at Elswick Park today. Stavro, Hamble, Thompson. Oh. oh, Bell smothered off the boot. And McIsaac there. He reeled it in. He got a back kick around the body there by Cutler. And he's not even scored. It stayed in play, but a kick along the ground has resulted in a goal. Big pack of players, and at the front of that is Jack Hewitt. He thumps it inside 50. Presenting with two bites of the cherry is Ryan Valentine. So when Ryan Valentine plays for Scotch, he averages two goals a game. 14 for the season from his seven games. He puts it on its way. The umpire barely moves. How sweet it is for Valentine. They've got four. Of time, Edwards Baldwin. He took the mark and played on to Waite. And Waite takes a diving mark inside 45. He took a good diving mark here, directly in front of goal. No breeze to speak of. Glenn Huntley rode into the ground. Does he like it? He does. Yes, he does. Second goal to Perth. That puts them on to two straight 12. At half forward, he'll go inside 50. McIsaac will present. Springs in his feet for Charlie. His second goal of this first term to give the Ammos their fifth. Exactly the same result as the first kick. The umpire barely moved. Charlie's got two. Now Tarrant found a Hewitt who goes towards full forward for Victoria. It bounces towards the goal area and it's kicked out of bounds on the full. Plenty of daylight there for him. Glenn Huntley rode into the ground it. and made no mistake. So first goal on the board in the first minute and a half for Victoria. Gee, what a fall from Grace. Yeah. Here's Young, 45 out. Has to be a goal. It has to be for them, and it is. So he kicks his first of the afternoon. It wasn't a real good one. They were under pressure. Came back to Winter. Have a look at that. He just off one step, put it onto the boot. It opens up a bit more, you might be able to see what might happen here as... That is a goal by Easton. I don't think they touched it, they no, didn't. didn't. They want to move the ball with speed. Branchy, the tallest man in this contest, lost it to Steele. He shovels the handball out the back door. It ends up with Winter, another one onto Betty Huggard. With a wonderful, well-weighted ball to Stedman. He's got Brown running past, riding shotgun. They're moving the ball with ease when it gets on the outside, the Vicks. Easton's on 45, he's just kicked a goal. He opens it up to Aiden Frenetic. He checks it for Charlie McIsaac, who'll ram it home at the Glen Huntley Road end. Then they've got nine. Again charged out, couldn't hold on to it. Steel there, brought to ground by Barton. Kennedy had an attack of the fumbles. Furmark to wait in the goal, and he's kicked it. High tackle, high tackle again for Perth. It came here to Ward, towards Ward, in the goal, and he's kicked it. They're a big sniff here. So All up uh, exits. We might get Nick Duxon to get the clearance numbers on the game so far. Here's another one for Luke Winter. Broke through a couple of tackles, got to 45 from a standing start. Winter! Oh, the young star is rising with every touch of the ball. Barton got in front of the ball. He found Waite, who goes in towards goal. It's gone back towards Helligan. Oh, he's done well. Players are there. Kick away by Perth in towards half forward. Well picked off here by Helligan. Oh, easily. He goes into Ward. Easily goes into Kennedy. And Kennedy puts it through. It's young. He found a way through. Well the done. kick was smothered. Terrific from... Uh, James Tarrant going back in after it. It is oh. bouncing around like a oh. pinball. It hit Wade in the face. <laughs> Sofranini's handball. Fermat is ready to go. Oh, he got it. Unbelievable stuff from Perth. Talk about pinball. Kennedy goes up and down the chimney with a kick. Roach found a way through where no one could. To the top of the square he goes with a kick. It steals out the back. Oh. There's been a whistle. Advantage is paid. And the wow. goal's been kicked. Trey Kennedy. He followed the ball down. Couldn't control it, Stavrou or Hamble. Found Thompson. Victoria go forward to full forward. No one can take the mark. Ball hit the deck. McIsaac was there. Hamble, Valentine. McIsaac in the goal. Kicked it. Position, another shocking kick. Jeez. Open the door for Roach. He gets the handball back. Roach can go to 50. He checks the kick ever so slightly, and it was perfect. He can close the gap back to just one. And he does. 
Four minutes into the final quarter. They charge through the middle again. Roach and Leonard with a two. Now Ward's on the end of it. A wobbly kick off the boot. It goes towards the forward pocket. They charge out to meet it. Halligan has it. Kick smothered off the boot. They get another chance. And he's done it. In comes the Sharon to the front of the contest is Hardy oh. against his old side. Oh. Judas stands up. <laughs> Light mizzle, not even a heavy ball. Here he comes, right on the 45 metre arc. Oh, he's got all of the way, <laughs> and he's put him in front. Oh, what a kick! <laughs> to stretch the margin, they lead by five. It's now 11. They trailed by 38 through that second term. Mark, it fell to Roden, intercepted by Brown, boot to ball, open goal square. Valentine's got to beat three. Oh, that's great. That's great body work. You'll hear the roar <laughs> if he kicks it. Glenn Huntley <laughs> Roden to the ground. Oh, he just sneaks it in. Oh, didn't he held on to him. Stedman won that one down, got it to Frenetic. In trouble, he found Harding, who goes out wider here and on. Handball, a look away one. Found Frenetic. Victoria go forward, and a mark has been taken. That was quick stuff to put Victoria in front by one, and he's done it. He loved it as soon as it left the boot, directly in front. Glenn Huntley rode into the ground, puts it on its way and loved it. Soon as it left the boot. To the scoreboard end, on its way, finger in the air. They're not done yet. Collected it, he stayed there. Now a chance along the ground, a kick high up and under Hammersley. Full for the target, fell down here towards Kennedy. Kennedy's put him in front. Oh, he roved it beautifully. In this final term, Leonard to centre wing. They set themselves and oh, Sofranides goes up, takes the mark, goes in short here. Hewitt's got it. Hairball to do one. Goes to uh, Harding. Now they go towards Cormac, who finds Brown. Glenn Huntley rode into the ground. 28 minutes gone. What's he done? He's levelled the scores, scores a level in the last quarter. Eastern back into the centre square, goes to centre half. Brashy. Oh, oh, he's done it again! What a mark! Brashy at a 50. Oh, it'll bring him all the way to centre half forward. Get it to the goal mouth and see what happens. That's all you can ask from One Josh. Oh, the sirens go! Oh. oh, you only dream of calling this stuff. Jeez. Come on, Simon. <laughs> Come on, Simon. Have a look at them in the goal square. Branchy for the win. The scores are level. The sirens gone. 48 out from goal. Have a look at it go! Oh! It's not, scores are level. It's a draw. It's a draw. We have a drawn game. Yep. So here we go. Five minutes either end. Scores were level at the end of the game. 104 apiece. This to put Perth in front by a goal. We've gone just on 40 seconds into the first time of extra time. He goes into goal and he's kicked it. Have one goal to Victoria, zero. Now a chance here for Victoria. Oh, he's put it on its way. And that was Hewitt. Through the middle. From the 45, he's kicked four, has Charlie. Oh, you're kidding me, Charlie! You are kidding me! The Vix take the lead! James Tarrant, he's a goal kicker this year! Has he won the game for the Vix? They're one step closer to glory with that kick! So Charlie McIsaac, inside the 45 metre arc, any score will do. It's a goal anyway. We'll just send it further down the line. That's what he does, Stedman. McIsaac will fly! It's all over! A marathon event! Sees the Vix cross the line first. 20 goals, 10, 130 to 17, 9, 111. A draw at final time, a 19 point win in extra time. The Vix reigns supreme over the Perth Football League in an incredible display of amateur footy here at Elston Week Park in 2023.